Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, a not-so-distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had other plans. With just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower, Bowser merged with Prince Florian's castle. Thanks to his newfound power, chaos spread across the land. Now, it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. In this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Let's jump in. This is the Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total of seven areas to explore. Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of shining falls. Traverse multiple islands, dive into the sea, and spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma and more. A rich variety of courses await in each world. Move around the map in each world to select a course. You can even walk freely through open areas you find. In these spaces, if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. Once you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the course's menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. While in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. Get close and... A por todas! Como han llegado aquí arriba. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. They might give you hints. Or coins. Besides Mario, you can also play as... Luigi. Peach. Daisy. One of Two Toads, and Toadette. They all play the same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. The Yoshis and Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Careful though, they'll still lose a life if they fall down a pit, so watch your step. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hoppy Cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Melon Piranha Plants will spit seeds from their mouths. Condarts will fly at you and stick their beaks into your business. When conks attack, they'll even plow through goo. Mumsies can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. 
mom moths will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas, Koopa Troopas, Boos, Locky Twos, and other familiar foes are also here. Next, let's look at the new power-ups you can find. In elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. Swing your trunk to attack enemies, destroy blocks, and even do this. In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? If you store water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? It's not just Mario, though. Luigi, the Toads, Peach, Daisy, and Toadette all have elephant forms as well. The bubble form allows you to blow light, floating bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. They'll also drift toward nearby foes. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go, defeat typically impervious foes, and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. You can even jump off them, like platforms. Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard-to-reach places. Just like that. While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky or hard-headed enemies a breeze. Or you can use it to drill down. It also allows you to burrow and move through the ground. In a tough spot, dig away. You can even burrow into the ceiling. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. Oh, and you can hang on to an extra power-up. In a pinch, bust out a power-up. Or swap them to better fit the situation. This is a wonder flower, a plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger, causing some interesting changes. Pipes might start moving. A stampede of enemies can appear. The terrain may tilt. You could end up in a free fall. Bubbles might, uh, bubble up. Your perspective can change. Or you might float through space. There are even wonders where your character transforms. Mario might become a Goomba? Or a spike ball? Or blow up like a balloon? When you touch a wonder flower, always expect the unexpected. Collect a wonder seed and the course will return to normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. You'll also earn a Wonder Seed as thanks from a Poplin when you clear a course. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. Slow your fall with the Parachute Cap Badge. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the Wall Climb Jump Badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the Dolphin Kick Badge. You can also break underwater blocks. 
Charge up a bounding leap with the Crouching High Jump Badge. Shoot vines in midair and stick to walls with the Grappling Vine Badge. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the Safety Bounce Badge. Easily find important items using the Sensor Badge. Draw in nearby Mula with the Coin Magnet Badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the Invisibility Badge. You will not stop dashing with the Jet Run Badge. And you can run in the air for a bit. There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. Only one badge can be equipped per course. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it. While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. Up to four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch console. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. If another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Your group won't lose a life either. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Even if you're also playing as a Yoshi, or if you're an elephant. If you connect online, you might see other players on the world map and in courses. These are people from around the world, enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Just like in local co-op, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Players can send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. You can also place a standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not-so-easy areas and help your fellow players. You can purchase standee surprises from the Poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts, gifting items, reaching the goal pole together, and more will earn you heart points. While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. In a shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Start a race by hitting the race block. Then make a run for it. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a Wonder Seed or defeat a boss instead. Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races, you can enhance your experience with online play. Jump into the unexpected with Mario and Friends Whoa! when Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on Nintendo Switch October 20th. Plus, 
A new Mario Red-themed Nintendo Switch OLED model console is also on the way. If you look closely, you'll find Mario and some hidden coins. Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition launches October 6th.